This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of the, A Plague's Tale Innocence. In the last episode, we escaped the church and the uh, um, rats within, and we've uh, headed toward, or, towards Laurentius's uh, farm. However, the Inquisition is here. No one ever expects them, so we're going to have to see if we can get around into the farm. Although, when we get in the farm, how are we going to contact Laurentius? You know, if the Inquisition is, like, right there. Although, I'm surprised they haven't... Probably already caught him, probably courted him, pulled him up by his little thummies right there. I don't know. Anyway, let's see if we can get through this without getting caught by the by these dork sources. No. Of course, I have a... Actually, can I... I think it said I could upgrade... Oh, no, I have to find a... Okay. I still have to find a work workbench for that. Oh, thank you. Guess we're going to need that soon if... If it game asked for that, okay, let's see. Oh, we just need to get through that, right? I assume there's nothing on the other side. Yeah, I don't see anything. Because if I could, like, kill the dude, for example, you know, they probably would put something on the other side, just like, oh, you could kill this guy. Yeah, maybe you could kill him and get something for that, yes. Anyway, that's uh... I'm surprised they... The way it's thrown, it's just like, oh, that came clearly from behind me. No, so. Careful how you land. Yes. Mm. All right, pass that little little bit. Ooh, a work bitch right there. Nice. Too bad I only have the one tool. All right, well, let's see what we can make. All right. Pretty much any everything if we wanted to. Probably something that either needs saltpeter or alcohol, really. All right, what do we got? We could do the pouch, which gives me better accuracy. Could do the pocket again. That would give me more materials. That way, if I miss something, I can store it for later. Um, let's see. Hold up better more ammunition. And then that's the one where you can uh, dodge, but you make less noise. Or less noise while, while dodging or, uh, or moving. That wouldn't be a bad one. I'm kind of a fan of just straight up just maxing out the uh, um, the pocket so I can hold more stuff. So if I miss more of the uh, the tools, I at least have multiple ways to... Uh, I could store all the materials over the course of the game if I need to. Uh, what's this one do? Reduce the time it takes for it to get loader sling. I'm just going to keep doing pocket. I know I probably shouldn't be, but that's what I'm going to do. Huh. This should make things a little easier. All right. Which unfortunately does not help me from a phonetic standpoint, but yeah. All right. Now we're past that, so. Monsieur. What? What did I do? Why are they looking for me? You didn't do anything. It's they're the ones who did something. If they catch us, will they hurt us? They are not going to catch us, all right? All right. Well, if they did, they'd just straight up kill you. Have you not seen the death scenes before? Okay, I was just seeing if I was missing anything. It doesn't look like it, so... All right, let's just keep going. I'm not going to go too far out of my way to find collectibles. I'll just kind of keep it in the cusp of my mind. If I see them, I'll grab them or check them, but if not, I'll leave it be. All right, so we passed the first section. Now, what's what's going to be the next step? <laughs> Hugo, get back here! Hugo, Hugo, where are you? Oh, Hugo, it's not funny. Ooh, Hugo, did I scare you? The Inquisition is here, Hugo. Do you want them to take you away? Don't ever do that again. Alright. Yeah, you can have fun, kid, but this isn't really the best place to be doing that, you know? Like I said, these men will probably just, like, do nasty things to you, you know, right here, so... You know, I'd, I'd uh, calm, your, calm your tits a little bit about that. It's got spots. They're boils from the bite. Don't get any closer, Hugo. But he's got a treasure. Is it a book? Notes. A journal. He was an alchemist. Oh. He 
has a nice boat. He did have a nice boat, and now he's dead. Diary of an Alchemist. A page from the diary of a scholar from the Orient and friend of Laurentis, telling of the ravages of the plague in distant lands. The great evil has indeed appeared in Central Asia, where it, uh, where it has ate through the entire population in its path and suppressed the very evolution of society before uh, reaching and ravaging Europe. Did it come from Asia before? Is that where... Did the Black Plague... You know, like I said, I, I don't remember bits and pieces about the history of the Black Plague and like what it did and everything like that, so I don't... So I'm gonna take that with a grain of salt, but, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it spread. I mean, Black Plague, like, when, didn't it kill, like, 90% of, of all everyone in Europe or some? It was, like, some ridiculous size. It was, like, the greatest, like like, disease and killer of all time, or something like that, or it's, like, really high on that list. And the reason I'm looking back and forth is I'm just seeing if there's any, like, obvious secrets in between here, but, but yeah, I, th I don't know if it's the greatest, like, uh, like, killer of, of men or something like that, but it was definitely up there, like, killed, like, millions and millions of people. What roughly today would be, like, a billion or something. It was something like that. I would look it up if you are curious about that. <laughs> Hey there, piggy piggy. Can we can, can we take you out to to get some bacon from you? Ah, bacon. Yep, 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 hey, yep. Piggies, you should hide. It's dangerous. Well, you're gonna get killed either way, just because people find you delicious. Absolutely delicious. Ah, chicken coop. I've considered trying to raise chickens just to save on eggs, but, eh, I'm too lazy. Uh, let's see, grab a few things there, alright. Anything else in here? Oh, whoop, that whoop. Just go, <laughs> Yeah. Come on. Alright, cool. Alright, jump in there before they... Because there's a... Little... <coughs> All right, what are we looking at? Oh, they're everywhere. Let me check here real quick. I don't think there's anything in here, but it's probably just to prevent us from. All right, nothing. All right, just go, just keep checking. Anyway, okay, so we've got. Do we just got the two guards? Hmm. Okay. And they're both helmeted, so I can't do the insta kill. If I wait, what's that over there? Is that just a reflector bit, or is that an actual item? Hmm, like, can I actually go back in there if I wanted to? I could. Well, if I die, I could just redo it. It's not like it took me that long to get back in here. Can we open? No. Okay, cool. Because we just got the two guys there. I just want to see what's over here. It's probably just another... Oh, it's another earthen pot. Maybe it's just another way to get around them. Oh, wait. No, is that... That's not... Oh, it's just rocks. Okay. For distraction and stuff like that. What's over here? Oh, more guards. Okay. Rapidy, rapidy, darn guards. Um... So we're, either, we're probably supposed to go around that way, but and there's the two guys there. So we have a couple ways to get through this, apparently. Where does this take us, anyway? I assume uh, it kind of seems like maybe there's multiple ways to get through the uh, through this area. Like we could either go through here or go around. Turn this way. I was kind of curious what's over here. Might as well check it out. You never know. Might be because it feels. It seems like there's still collectibles in this area or area, even if you're in stealth, uh, stealth mode or whatever. 
Yep, we've already made. <laughs> we've already maxed out alcohol again. Maybe the game just gives you so much stuff that you just kind of decide when you. That whoa. What is that? Crap. I didn't even mean to. Odd. Yes, odd. But just a tiny little bud. Let's see, is there anything else over there? Doesn't look like it. I'm just seeing if there's any, if I can, if I just want to go the long way around, or want to go through that one path, or if I want to go past these guys or not. About the same either way. Although there's no, I could use that pot, but I don't know if I want to utilize that yet or not, so. Yeah, it seems like there's just, this area specifically has like a couple ways to get to the next location, depending on which is, which is easier. Because we could go around this guy if we go into there, but we'd have to worry about the two dudes walking back and forth. And there's that guy. Yeah, it's just like, but what's over there that I, is, is there anything I could grab or any secrets or is it just, is it even worth it? No. Too bad rocks don't make enough noise as is. You'd have to actually hit the dudes to to do that. I wonder if they can actually see us through the through the uh, um, thing here. Because he turns around and then the other guy down there, he turns around about the same time. And then it looks like there's dudes patrolling down that way too. Okay. Probably if I was an expert at this game, I'd probably go this way. There's probably maybe a collectible or something like that, but we're gonna... I think it'll be best just to go through this path, this way up this way. So I feel like I have a better opportunity to hide because of the foliage. And we got the uh, earthen pot over here too. Although we only get the one. I'm surprised there's not an ability for us to like gather, grab more pots or anything like that. Oh well. Alright, is that one guy walking around? I don't see him, so... Okay, so... Let's see, it's just the one dude... Well, there's the two dude, but one patrolling. Which, does he even go into the grass? Doesn't look like it. you think it'd make more sense for him to go through the grass, just to... Well, game mechanics and all that. Looks like it kind of goes through... Uh, okay, so we probably want to distract this dude. I wonder if he could have used the the pigs to distract him. Oh well, whatever. And hopefully that's what is it? from return what? around. And then go in here. See, is that way? Okay, so it is just divided him. Oh, but I have to. I have to go pretty soon because that one guy might eventually turn around. Okay, at least we made it to a decent spot. Okay, there's a box there, which we could check to see what's inside if I really want to. Or no, there's something on it. Uh, or is that a... No, that is a... Okay. So we could grab some items if we really need to. Which, depending on how long it takes, and although, would that guy see it? And this game is really testing you on, like, if you want to straight up, like, gather equipment or items. Uh, whoops. I'm not crazy. I heard something. Oh, I should have... Oh. I should have left Hugo back there. That way I'm, I'm, I can go faster, so I'm gonna... Okay, I'll do that again here in a second, and I'll just... I'll drop Hugo... I'll leave Hugo there, because I'm not yeah. going that far. That way I can grab whatever's in there. Fill my inventory. Wait for that guy to get a decent, decent way away. I will be back soon. Okay. You have to be quiet, right? Pretty far. Right for you. The second time. Okay. I need to see this. Go there, grab that stuff. Cause I think I'm slightly faster if I, if I don't have Hugo in my. What? Oh, do you see me? Crap. What's that? No, no, come on, no, I no, found no. someone. Get back here. Shoot. Dang it. Ah. <laughs> Maybe it's too risky to do that. I mean, because it's got it's stuff that I. Uh, let's see, right? Well, depending on where it puts me, I might have to rush grabbing all that stuff. 
But, uh, maybe I should have. Hmm, okay, so it leads me back here. Oops, nope, that's not what I want to do. Okay, that's the rocks. No. Because you do go faster if you're not uh, crouching. Oh, no. There's loads of them. Shh, keep quiet. And unfortunately, it doesn't save when I grab certain things, so unfortunately, I have to go and grab go grab those things again. But luckily, I know where that stuff is, so I'm not. I'm not. The only bad thing is getting caught means you have to do like the whole thing over again. Uh, what's my? What's my item? Oh yeah, I don't have enough of that sulfur. Grabbing that would help. Because what do I... What grades need that? Just the pouch. But I don't know how often I'm going to get that. So I almost want to grab those items, but... Um, that's in that box. But I'll have to see what their moving pattern is. Maybe it'll be better. Because I think the idea is sound. Although, if I had the update to where... Or update. If I had the upgrade where I move... Where I don't make as much noise... While... Uh, <gasps> You should hide. It's dangerous. <laughs> while, uh... While I dodge or move, I probably could, like, stand up without having to, uh... Stealth it. Or I could just get closer from the other side. Oops. I kept, pre I kept pressing the wrong button. A dude walking around, or he's about to. So, well, at least even even if dying takes up a bit of time, at least now that you know slightly more of their patterns, like I could have gone through that without opening up that that. And well, I've already missed a. I probably already missed an upgrade, so maybe I could just. And who knows how long I'm gonna get, um, a next upgrade. So I probably don't even need to worry about grabbing that sulfur as much as I'd like to. And the game probably gives you enough. Uh over the course of the game so I could probably the only reason I was wanting to move so close for that guy is just because the way he's facing he's facing us quite regularly um, hopefully I get there because it's probably what ca what what caught me the first time was that guy from that that far away so yeah I think I'll just uh, I'll just skip him Or I'll, I'll skip the getting that um, uh, sulfur, whatever it is, or whatever that crystals. I thought it was called sulfur. I could be wrong. Because I think it, I believe it was. A, I, I mean, I could do the rock where they're both there, and it might distract both of them. Because let's see, where's the another guy? Is like. It's like way over there. I'm surprised he even saw me that one time because I, I believe that was the that was who saw me. Hmm. Uh, nah. I'm just 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 go. If I really need to do it, I'll just I'll re I'll hey, like I said. Someone of ours along the trail earlier. Dad has a door name. Shouldn't we bury him? Have you been him? Yeah. Everyone around you can get it and die too. That's why it's called the bite. Well then, I think we'll just leave him where he is. And there's a distraction pit there. I could kill them if I really wanted to, because they're not helmeted. And technically, the game quick saved, so I could go back and try that again. But if I if I ever do that, I'll just do like do that separate file idea that I had. If I really want to, maybe figure out how to do it um okay so we got two dudes so we got two distractions so i probably had to hit both of those and then just go through the bush there that'll probably be the most effective way what was that noise what was that noise that noise better go see what it was oh, yep luckily it takes them like a few seconds like a like a deer and caught in a headlight you know to notice. Nothing. <laughs> I need to calm down. When are they going to call us back to camp? Okay. Nothing. Shit, it's nearly dark. 
it looks like there are it looks like the the levels are designed where you don't have to like I could have just climbed maybe maybe got around that guy or maybe and then climbed the climbed the um, little um, little wall there so you don't have to go through a specific method if you don't want to so it's not like a I mean it's linear but you know it's linear ish like you don't have to uh, might just wait till I was about to say might just wait till they turn around should be enough room. Although we probably will have to use that pot to distract one of them, maybe. Now yeah, we'll see how that works. I do like the area is just like wide enough that it, you know you're. Can that guy see me if I turn? Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully I can. The only reason I ran is because I wasn't sure how long that guy would take to get back over there. Yeah, could have used an earthen pot. That is quite a possibility, but I didn't need to this time. And one of those rat hills. That wasn't too bad. I only died the one time because I was trying to get something I didn't even need. So, and of course, there's the other pathway. We could have gone, could have gone that way, but that one would have had its own challenges. So, right, wait for him to turn around. Okay, cool. All right, that wasn't too bad. Probably missed a probably missed a collectible or something like that, but. I like to think that they don't put collectibles, at least not main collectibles, like items or inventory stuff for. They can't see us anymore. No, they can't. I mean, it makes sense that there would be items for upgrades in, in those levels, because then, you know, risk versus reward. But when it's straight up collectibles, I notice that they don't usually put them in the da uh, most dangerous situations. Like Come on, I'll help you. All right. Or at least dangerous situations like guards where you have to actually move around. With the with the rodents, that's more of a like a designed area, so it's not Fall back. What's happening? Hmm. I have a pretty good idea, but we'll wait and see. But yeah, like in the rat areas, those are those are specifically set environments, so you can put wherever because that's just a puzzle to solve, which I guess the guards are also a puzzle, but there is still a bit more um, like, because of the fact they move back and forth and all that. We can't stop. Not here. Mm, I feel funny. Come on. You'll be able to rest when we get to Laurentius's place. My head. It hurts. I, I don't know what to do, Hugo. What would Mommy do? Give me medicine. I can carry you. That's the best I can do. Come on. Climb up. Yeah, we don't have our medicine because our mom died like an idiot. I mean, hell, she just stood in front of the door and said, "I'll, you know, I'll run." But that wasn't much of a distraction. She like got run Mommy through. Says and... I shouldn't leave the house, you know. I know. That must be why I feel all funny. You're just tired. I miss her. At least you were allowed to see her. Hmm. Huh? Nothing. Sounds like she was cold to the daughter, but like nice to the kid. But probably because she was part, because she sound, seemed like she was a scientist or something like that, or and probably was uh, taking care of the kid, so they got close together. But... Mill. We're nearly there. Will he shut me inside again, like mommy? He'll get us to safety. All right. It's true, it's dangerous out here, but sometimes it's fun too. You'll get better one day. I know. Are those dead animals? What on earth happened here? We're going to have to be careful now. You better get down, Hugo. It sounds like because of the way the the family worked or whatever the situation occurred, basically Hugo became a mommy's mommy's boy and. Ah, uh, it's getting in my shoes. Ugh. I don't believe it. Oh, we would have had to go through this anyway, and then. Uh, um, uh, It's all right. They can't reach us. Come on, let's go. And Amalia became a daddy's girl, but like I said, it's the situations that go up. The night is making them come out. We'll be all right if we stay away from them. Gotta, ru gotta rush this, man, because otherwise they'll eat us. My God, they're saying they're freaking. 
I'm not even afraid of like rats or anything like that, but I'll admit you you do stuff in the right the right stuff, not going that way. We need fire! We have to get out of here. Okay, I, I was about to go somewhere else, but I was like, wait a minute, that's probably gonna get me killed if I go that way, so. Yeah, I guess you. Climb up, I'll help you. Right. I guess if you have a swarm of anything, a swarm of anything could be creepy when you think of that. You know, locusts. Even moths can be kind of freaky if they given the situation. That means close. That's mobs again. Oh my god, I just. never get through. I just realized, look at all the dead pigs, my god. I mean, I think of what it would be if it was humans. Just as bad. Look at that. That's freaky. Then again, I've never been to a slaughterhouse before, so... Okay, so we need to... Oh, ho, ho. That's why we got rocks. Die! Lord. Are they really... All dead? They've been slaughtered. By the Inquisition, probably. I'm going to be sick. I think I even saw pig balls somewhere along the line. Like they, they had to animate pig balls in there. I'd like to be the guy who had to... Or I'd like to meet the man who had to animate the pig balls. Sir, you are a hero. Nah, I'd be like, oh god. Oh, there's some... Is that twigs? You know, the twigs. I don't think I can do anything with that right now. I'm not close enough for, to affect that, but... Yeah, it sounds like this might be a theme for the rest of the game. It's going through... Each section, you know, avoiding avoiding the Inquisition and the uh, the, the rats and the Noid. You should always avoid the Noid. Anyway, uh, okay. Anything else here? What's this? Not oh, materials, even though we don't have any locks. But I'll take that. Seems like uh, sulfur. Sulfur seems to only appear in these chests, so I'll have to be careful about trying to find more of those in the future. Like, I might have to try opening up the rest of the boxes because I don't know how often we're going to run across those. Then again, I, I from playing this game, we made a decent amount of progress. I feel like the game isn't that actually that long in the grand scheme of things. You know what I mean? Like the challenge is obviously the story, the puzzle, and everything with that. Let's go. Yes. Is that going to be long enough of a of a fire to get to that? I don't know, man. That's, look, it's about to burn out already. I think I, I, I probably should just wait to... I don't know why I had to... You know what? I just realized. Why did I have to set it right there? Why didn't I just set it on one of these torches over here? Like a, like a moron. I would definitely not survive the Black Plague if, if that's my thinking. Come on. Here we go again. Here we go. Here we go again. Get off my rat. Man, I wonder if Splinter is amongst these guys. Got some turtles. We could use some turtles. Some of them are... Named after French Renaissance pa uh, people, anyway. So there you go. My God, I'm surprised. Uh, man, <laughs> I just like it. Just like I'm gonna get you. I want some cheese. And uh, <laughs> when someone says they want cheese instead of like flesh, like all the rats will look at that one rat. They're like, "What's wrong with you?" Oh yeah, and obviously make sure not to step in the mud because uh, uh, otherwise you'll uh, um, get stuck. There we go. Nice. Nice! But yeah. I, I, the whole idea, I, you know, that's kind of a neat mechanic. Instead of straight up telling us to avoid the mud or someone says avoid the mud, it purposely makes us step in the mud so that way we get the reaction that we do from them to say, oh, hey, if you're going through the levels, don't step through the red mud or whatever. Otherwise, you know, you'll you'll get uh, you'll, you'll get stuck and get eaten. So, oh, boy. Well, it, and Misi and Hugo have a lot more work to him. We still haven't met the good doctor. He's only just ahead of us. Will this barrel light our way to the to salvation? Or will we be forced into the dark with our furry friends? Find out next time in the next episode of Plague's Tale Innocence. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.